Well, flop out your sausages and cook them up a treat. We're back on Hearts of Iron 4, and today I might be doing something a little bit controversial. Please don't demonetize me. Please, YouTube, because apparently my last video was reviewed even though it said it was monetized, but it turns out that maybe it wasn't? But now it is, even though I didn't request a review because it didn't seem it needed one, but you reviewed it anyway. They're watching me. So of course, I'm going to do something a little bit controversial today, because, you know, why not? <laughs> Who needs to make a living? Please, I need that ad revenue. And because the YouTube is watching, I, I feel obligated to say, don't forget to subscribe, everyone. Leave the video a like, so the algorithms might like me. And don't forget to click that bell button when you subscribe, because that, 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 that's, that's what they're always telling people to do, right? I'm definitely not nervous that they're watching me, okay? Just, 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 just play it cool, everyone. Play it cool. So today, of course, I'm going to play as the Confederate Republic. Oh my! Essentially, the American Civil War resulted in an armistice between the two sides, and it, the, the Confederate Republic has survived until 1936. Well, crumb diddly ums. That's, you know, unlikely, but we're going to give it a go. So the Great Depression has happened all across North America, so we're going to try and steer the Republic through that difficult time, and probably... Th th there might be war. Ah, okay, so we have recruitable population factor of minus 20% because of Jim Crow, or the Jim Crow laws. Ah, well I'll probably try and fix that. And, oh dear, the southern economics, consumer good factories of 10%, production efficiency minus 25 and constr- oh god, we're woefully inefficient. But our army does look fairly solid, I think. Never mind, they suck. And there's an actual expansive focus tree. Ho ho, my. I don't actually know what to pick first, to be honest. Maybe Stevens versus Alabama, and then we can either go communist. Oh, brothers, we are bound by blood. Oh. Okay, so essentially there are still racial tensions in the South, and in order to fix it, we need to go down this bit, and hopefully I would pretty much try and get equality for everyone. And maybe go communist for a change. Ooh. I believe in terms of factories, we are vastly outnumbered. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm basically- I am still uh, kind of a backwater compared to the United States. Uh-oh. Oh, but we've got Patton on our side. Nice. And Douglas MacArthur. Oh, I've got all the good generals. So I'm going to go down and start the Platt Amendment and also reaffirm old ties so people like me. So the, the Lindsay- R basically, I'm going to- I might just rush war with the USA. That's- that's-, that's I think that's pretty much my only- a uh, way to survive this. Maybe. So, Harry F. Bird is our current leader. I really would like a better navy, but I have what I have, and it's not that strong, but... So I'm not sure of my big game plan. I know I will probably have to side with Mr. Stalin at some point, if he survives. Or I could just stay on my own and see what we can do with a communist confederate republic. I'd, I'm probably making the wrong choice, but... We all love a good rambler try, right? Okay, found the Office of Regional Strategic Services. Okay, reassert border claims. Here we go, here we go. Yes, several border states threatened to secede from the Union, but none came to our side. But we have sympathetic neighbours. Ooh, I think I'll claim northern Mexico. We don't want to befriend them now, do we? No. No. Oh, crumbs, my war support is very low. So if I lose, well, Richmond, then I'm dead. They are out of manpower, which is good, and we have the same amount of military factories. It's just everything else they they fire outnumber me with. So but, but border skirmishes. Border skirmishes. An early war against the USA will be fine. It's still 0% world tension. They can't do anything to change their situation. <laughs> oh, God. If I actually lose this... I don't know if it will be a massive rambler fail, or maybe just a slightly incompetent one. I feel just slightly incompetent. Okay, I'm going to attempt to attack the United States with 10 combat width divisions. That's sensible. That's very, very sensible. I hope no other countries will get involved, because this is just a grudge match, really. It should have been decided, uh, uh, you know, over 100 years ago, so let's just... MacArthur, you better be set to aggressive. Away we go! But... Uh, we might take Washington. We might take Washington. We're not gonna take Wash. We might take Washington. And I'm taking factories too. Ooh. 
We took Washington. Ah. Japan declared war on China. That's fine. Situation normal. Situation normal. Oh. I lost Washington. Just kidding. I took Washington. Okay. The TVA. Sure. We're in the middle of a war, but let's keep focusing on economy. We're encircled. Well, so far the war is going okay. I, I, I think... We are slowly encircling some divisions, kind of. So my early strike worked, but now I'm kind of suffering in terms of not being able to supply my troops. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm a bit nervous. Oh, of course we have draft dodgers. Oh dear. Okay, well, we'll pay rise for enlisted soldiers then. I think the USA might be done. We are snacking all across the country. And I think that they're, well, they're not out of manpower. Oh, they've gone to total mode. Oh, but they don't have any factories remaining. So it's it's, it's gonna be all me, all rambler all the time, all ba 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 baby. Aha! And the draft reform proves effective. Good. Oh my God! We did it. Yes. Uh. <sighs> what to do now? It seems I spiked world tension a little bit. That, that wasn't really my intention. But, you know, hey-ho. Hey-ho. Wait a second. Am I still at war with the... Fi uh, this is one annoying thing in the update. It, it's really, really frustrating. That might put me to war with all the allies. I don't know. So because I'm going to be in a perpetual war with the Philippines, I might as well just go communist. Why not? Ooh, the upheaval. Let's go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh my, my flag has changed. Oh, and we're led by Harry Haywood now. Huh. Good morning, comrade. I'm sure you've heard the news. The president's head is on a pike. The old guard is running for the borders. Redistribute land, land and land just begun. Basically, oh, never mind. They want me to come in anyway. Yeah, why not? The Confederate Republic joined the Comintern. I have probably taken this in a direction that most people would not be appreciative of. If you're from the South. Oh, the Soviet wants to help out against the Philippines. Yes, sure, why not? Everyone can help me out. Oh, Czechoslovakia joined the Allies because it seems that... Oh, they they refused the... <laughs> oh dear, well that's an early World War II, isn't it? Uh... No, 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 no. Not what I wanted. Um... Oh. Force collectivization, gain base national stability of 50%. But I've only got 50% stability, so what the heck is going to happen to me now? Oh no. Things just are never easy. Whenever I just want to have a little bit of world domination, everyone has to just freaking interfere in my plans, don't they? Well, you know what? Screw you. It's mine. I'm taking Canada. You can't stop me. How hasn't Canada capitulated yet? So taking over Scotia, that'll finish off the gits. Oh, their capital's Edmonton. To Edmonton! Five-year plan, okay. Okay, that'll solve my stability. That will solve my stability. Don't you just love fighting up in Labrador, where there will never be any kind of infrastructure ever, because it's pointless? It appears the Greeks sent their entire navy to attack me. Why? Why? I love that the UK just sends their fleet piecemeal into my rather small fleet. So they are losing a heck of a lot of ships. Well, I've try I'm gonna I'm gonna try another plan and that's to invade Glasgow. If I can, that'd be good. If I can't, then well uh, it, the Allies are gonna die. There's no way they can ever win, so it's it's rather annoying that they're putting up any kind of a, a fight. Well, oh, hold the phone, I've done it. Oh, they're pushing back hard. Okay, well, I'm trying to push the British out of here, and I'm also trying to keep them at bay up in the north. They managed to land troops, which I'm not best pleased about. Uh, but it, this could actually result in a British defeat, maybe. Be nice, wouldn't it? Do you know what? I almost gave up on trying to defeat the UK, but through taking out the majority of their fleet and a nice cheeky naval invasion, I think I might actually be able to do this. Oh, Dover's their capital. I'm coming for you. Oh, yes. 
And for some reason, the Dutch East Indies are still at war with me. But that doesn't really matter anymore. Harry Haywood, looking rather happy with himself, uh, decided to take a lot of Africa, needed the chromium, and pretty much took, oh yeah, took all of Canada and Mexico. And I think that's about it, really. I, 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 I kind of took what I thought was fitting, so... Oh yeah, I also took all the resources down here, so we control Singapore now. Yeah, that was really satisfying, being able to actually invade the UK for a change. So if you've enjoyed the video, of course, leave a like, and leave your suggestions for what you want to see next. But until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day. Many thanks to Oscar, Wyatt, Feedback Gaming, Nico, Tylin, Jared, Martin, Lexi, Logan, Super Gibson, Sam, Red, The Hardmeister, Goram, and Zazzy for being ridiculous ramblers on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too.